Alright, so what we're going to do today, we're going to take you through the world of Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Gods, we're going to talk about the movie, we're going to talk about some of my other things going on, and we're going to have some fabulous guests to join us on the panel. Approved. Approved. Thank you. Alright, so uh, let's get started right here first with uh, some other Dragon Ball stuff that's going on. Our partners over at uh, Bondi Namco just recently released um, or announced a new game they're working on. Uh, have you guys heard of this yet? Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. A uh, really cool, awesome game. We got to check it out at E3. Uh, we have a little bit of that footage right here for you. Fierce battles of Goku and others will be reborn. Take the universe by storm and break tradition. A new excitement awaits. Exciting stuff coming. Who's the mysterious character? No one knows. Actually, we really don't know. No one knows who the heck that guy is. So uh, that's really interesting. I haven't seen a new character in Dragon Ball Z for quite a long time. So, uh, all right. A little bit more about that. Uh, this is going to be the new generation for Dragon Ball. Uh, it's going to be, like I said, PS4, Xbox One, epic fights, fierce battles. Uh, really, this is going to be a new step in the uh, you know for the Dragon Ball franchise here on. Video games. Uh, the graphics are amazing. I got to actually see the demo of it while we were at E3. Uh, looks great. Uh, Cutscenes and actual gameplay almost identical. It's great how awesome these consoles are nowadays. Um, another thing we've got coming up with our buddies at uh, Bluefin Tamashi Nations USA. Aren't these cute? Uh, these are really cool. These uh, Tamashi buddies uh, coming this fall. They're only in an SRP of uh, $14.99, so it's really not a bad price. You get these chibier versions of some of your favorite characters here. Super Saiyan, Vegeta, Piccolo, uh, Goku and Trunks. Um, so yeah, check them out. Go to their Facebook page, facebook.com slash tamashi.usa. Alright? Uh, so we are here, though, to talk about Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, right? Long ago, a small group of pure-hearted Saiyans pooled their powers to create a savior. A Super Saiyan God. Lord Beerus, it's time. Time to wake up. Did you not prophesize that in 39 years' time an arch-rival worthy of me would appear? A great Saiyan. He answers to both the names Kakarot and Goku. So, I take it this means you intend to pay a visit to the Saiyans? I must track down this so-called Super Saiyan. A fascinating adversary is due to emerge. Just go back to where you came from. Go ahead and come at me with everything you've got. Let's kick things up a notch, yeah? and accept your planet's fate! Looks like they're ramping it up. It's all about to go. Damn it! I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. I will defeat you! So tell me, how does it feel? 
feel becoming a god. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods coming to theaters August 5th, 6th, 7th, and 9th. Uh, you got to, got to get these tickets. These, this is a very limited theatrical event. Uh, we are actually putting the list of theaters on DragonBallZ.com. They are just now being added. They're going to be adding more theaters. So if you don't see your theater, um, keep checking back. You can actually check with your local theater to see if they'll be playing it. Um, but trying to put all that information on DragonBallZ.com. These will sell out, so I encourage you to get tickets as fast as possible. Uh, tell your friends, get your guys, you know, have a big Dragon Ball Z watching party at the theater. Again, it's going to be starting August 5th, 6th, 7th, and 9th. Uh, so, unfortunately, we can't show you the full movie here. Uh, I know that's sad. So you're going to have to check it out in the theaters. But, I could show you maybe an extended sneak peek. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is a really cool clip I'm going to show you. Uh, you'll see a lot of your favorites. You'll see some new people in it. Uh, it's really awesome. Uh, I can't say how much I like this movie more. This is an amazing movie. It's really funny. You'll get to see a lot of that. Um, and we did a red carpet premiere uh, Thursday, this past Thursday at the Regal, which was an amazing event. Thank you to all the people who made that happen. If you got to be there. You feel honored. It was an amazing first time event for us, for Funimation, for Dragon Ball Z, for anime in general. We really want Dragon Ball Z, Battle of Gods, to reinvigorate anime as a whole, and not just for the Dragon Ball fan base, but for everybody. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys this extended clip. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, let's get this started. to Lord Beerus. One for me too, please. <laughs> I understand if you can't spare two, so I'll just take mine. Beerus, that's hardly fair. You made it sound like you already had one. <laughs> Give me the pudding. No! <laughs> what? Pudding is all for me! You're being a rude guest. All pudding cups are booze! <laughs> <laughs> Give me one of them now! No! I want the pudding! No way! Give me one, you're dumb!
I knew you'd be the strongest opponent I ever faced. But I still didn't think it'd be over this quickly. Damn! Not the ending I wanted. I don't get a pudding cup. And the Super Saiyan God is not here. It's time to punish Earth. <laughs> I'll take some pride in the fact that it took Beerus the Destroyer to kill me. Indeed. That's a fine way to rationalize your death. You shall die with your honor intact. <coughs> All right, that's enough moving around! I don't care for how many years you and my husband have known each other! You selfish pudding cup fight has ruined my 38th birthday party! Oh, so that's how old she is. <laughs> testing some new explosives again without a permit. <laughs> Is he? <gasps> Impressive show, but it only proved you're not the Super Saiyan God either. I shall leave then, but only after destroying the Earth. Weiss now! Give me a moment, please. <laughs> so, this one's sea urchin? Mm. Oh, it's even better than the tuna. <laughs> No, I won't let you do it! Why must you always destroy? Don't stall. I've already made up my mind, Vegeta. <laughs> Vegeta! Vegeta, no! Please come on! <sighs> yes, Lord Beerus, was there something you wanted? I must admit, you were right about the Saiyan God prophecy. This whole endeavor has been nothing more than the two of us chasing an echo of a myth. But I shall destroy this planet before I return home! As you wish, Lord. But first, I'm going to finish eating, okay? Yes. Uh, how do you like the yellow tail? <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to try everything on your menu. Could I trouble you to wrap up the rest for me? part we're doing here we're gonna bring up of course our special guest we're gonna have today uh, I want you guys first to put up a big round of applause for mr. Justin Cook, right. Justin 
Cook here is the producer of Dragon Ball Z, also the voice of Dende, voice of Raditz, of course. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you. Next up, we're going to have Mr. Christopher R. Savitz. Of course. Voices of Vegeta, Piccolo, Yamcha, 80 other guys, uh, and of course the uh, director for the ADR. And Mr. Sean Schemmel, the voice of Goku. Himself. Wow. All right. Hello. Not the president. <laughs> and we actually have one additional special guest, last minute addition. Really cool to have him here, Mr. Kyle Bear. Welcome to the stage. Yeah, it's here for Kyle. Team Gohan. Go Gohan. Narrator. So uh, I know we want to get really started here, get these guys to talk. While we're up here, I want to uh, kind of. We've, we're, got, we're really short on time, so, but we have this one video we wanted to show you kind of about the legacy of Dragon Ball Z. I started uh, Funimation in 1994 with uh, an old friend of mine, Daniel Kokenauer, and uh, as well as my wife, Cindy Fukunaga. It started with an idea I had where I had actually enjoyed uh, Japanese anime in eighth grade when I lived there for, for one full year. Uh, I, I got to go to Japan for a full year and, um, and I saw all this cool anime and, and back in those days, if you recall, in America all the cartoons were, you know, things like Roadrunner and Daffy Duck and those kind of shows. So uh, when you suddenly start seeing giant robots and ninjas and stuff, it's like a whole different experience. Um, and my favorite show at that time was uh, Uchu Senkan Yamato, or Space Battleship Yamato, which eventually became you know, a Star Blazer at one point in time in the U.S. That's what started it, and then uh, when I was in my 30s, I realized, wow, I need to you know, bring that over, and I jumped on this opportunity of buying Dragon Ball Z, and uh, that's what started the whole thing. It took us almost a year to negotiate with Toei on this contract because they were just not about to let go of their crown jewel to some small little rating startup. We thought we were in the kids' business, and so we were looking at a lot of other kids' titles. When we realized that, the, that what was happening to the kids' animation business at that time and realized it was really imploding because we felt that um, all the winners were going to be the people that owned major cable networks. That's when we got into the gen, what people now call the general anime business here, which is um, not really a kid's business, it's really more for young adults. Fortunately, no, nobody Hollywood <laughs> wanted the title because it was Japanese. Some of the things that, that Hollywood told us was that Dragon Ball will never succeed because look at the goofy name it has. I mean, Dragon Ball, I mean, who buy it in that show called Dragon Ball? It broke a lot of molds. <laughs> and uh, the audience was a lot more sophisticated than anybody, you know, in Hollywood was like. I didn't think it was possible. You're a true prodigy, and few I've ever seen. A Super Saiyan guy. This ends now. And so Dragon Ball Z has come a long way from its beginning, and we are here making history again with Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, have some Q&A with these guys up here. Uh, first, we're going to have some questions preloaded, and then if we have time, I know the panel, we got kind of sidetracked because of the load-in time, um, but we'll start off with a few questions here for you guys. Uh, for everybody up here, uh, what was it like revisiting these characters after all of these years? Uh, you want to start with Mr. Justin Cook? 
Uh, well, I'll quickly let this go over to Chris and Sean, uh, but uh, I will say that uh, I don't, we really never took much of a break. No. Yeah. yeah. Between the video games and Kai, uh, I think everybody's just kind of constantly been visiting these characters pretty regularly. I've never been away from performing as Goku for over a year at any given time. <laughs> so it's either, it's either like Kai or a video game or, thank you by the way, and uh, uh, and, uh, or you're at a convention reading Or you're at a convention doing when someone's going, uh, yes, do this, do, do that. And then, I love it, but it's like you're never not away from being uh, Goku or any of our characters, right, Kyle? Oh, right. Nostalgia, man. It's a nostalgia box. <laughs> it's, what, uh, it's what started our, our voiceover careers for many of us, and sure. uh, it's a chance to just go back and hopefully we've gotten better through the years at what we do. And I'm like, oh, this is awesome. We get to, we get to play these characters a little bit better now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's be and it's better than just like revisiting the characters. We're actually getting to tell a new story that we yeah, haven't been able to tell that before. Was cool. That's probably the most exciting part about and it. And I felt like for your characters, especially, and and Kyle's character more so than mine to some degree. Although Goku uh, is supposed to achieve this Super Saiyan God mode, but I'm not going to reveal whether or not he does. Um, <laughs> although probably most of you know that, but there, there's more layers uh, in this particular. You more there are more layers with Vegeta in particular, and and, and you see. Uh, I don't want to give a spoiler away, but something happens for uh, Gohan's character as well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and, and it's new layers for the characters that we've been playing for the last 15 years. So that's really, that was very exciting for me as an actor, definitely. All right. So this movie has all, pretty much everybody coming back. It's, it's crazy. It's, that's one of the best things. It's kind of like a reunion movie. Uh, was it hard assembling the cast for this movie? Yeah, Chris did a magic wand, he's like, and I call so-and-so, and then there's music, and so-and-so, and they come together, and then we just did that song right there. It's like, I call so-and-so, and get their agent, and then I call so-and-so, and get their voicemail. And then, uh, <laughs> no, it was, it was fun, we pulled people in from all over the place. Uh, Don't you have a special jewel, you tap it, and then... The cast is spread out all over the place now, so uh, it wasn't necessarily hard convincing anyone to work on it, though, that's for sure. If, anytime you want to call someone to do DBZ work, everyone wants to do it. And the thing that's incredible about these these guys and everybody else that's in the cast is that the the level of loyalty to the, to this property or to this show is incredible. I, it, it's it can really only be compared to the characters and their loyalty to Goku the and, and real. To the friendships that they all have. I mean, it's the thirst is real. <laughs> I don't know where that's from, but we learned it in an interview recently. Somebody just started a question with some journalist started, I can't remember which journalist it was, started a question with, the thirst is real, then the question. And that's just become so my favorite phrase. we've been just using that phrase for the rest of the week. Any time we want to talk about it. So the thirst Except is real. Except when we're thirsty, we haven't used it then. No, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got another question here uh, that is actually very appropriate for Sean's shirt today. Ah. Yes. Uh, yes. So, who would win the fight? Between Goku and Superman. All right, I'm going to answer this question because I... The, the video's got it wrong. The video online is, is well done, but it has it wrong. However, there's a, and, and since in the advent of the film, I'm trying to make this as fast as possible. I talk very fast, I'm trying to make it very fast. In the advent of the film, that's gonna change my answer. But up until the film, um, I used to think Goku could do instant transmission to another planet and win. However, the caveat that I realized Goku would probably do is that Goku likes fighting everyone at their maximum power. And because he's kind of a douche that way, he will, <laughs> He will go, hey, Superman, I got an idea. Why don't you go get as close to the sun as possible, get fully charged up, and then I'll fight you. However, so then I think Superman might win because he's only immune to magic, and uh, no, he's only affected by magic and kryptonite, and Goku's powers are not magic, they're energy based. So, but Superman's never fought a Super Saiyan God before, so that may change everything. So then, now I want to start a new rumor. Who would win in a battle? Superman or Goku in Super Saiyan God mode? And what does that entail? New rumor started, you heard it here first, go! <laughs> Alright. Vegeta would beat both of them. <laughs> as long as someone hits Bulma. So, so speaking of Vegeta, uh, we hear there's some singing in the movie? Yes! That is true! Tell us a little bit about that. Oh no, not, not much. I don't have much to say about that actually. I don't know what you guys are thinking. That's a weird rumor. <laughs> Here's the deal. Okay, alright, you don't even have to chant. I'm gonna sing this song, but like Vegeta, I will be so embarrassed that I will have to immediately leave. Okay? <laughs> that will be achieving two things. One, a nice performance and also I'll be able to make my flight because I have I have almost no time to go I was gonna leave early but now the, the panel started uh, late I decided to stay the full amount and likely I'll miss my flight but that's okay 
So, um, then fine. Let's play some bingo! Earth is a fun place to be, yo! Yeah! The Earth is friendly, too! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go play, yo! Let's be friends! He's not a very good singer. <laughs> I won't spoil all of it, but trust me, it's awesome. Guys, it, awesome. it has been amazing to see all of you at this convention. I am so excited. I love seeing Sean. I love seeing Kyle. I love seeing Justin. I even like seeing Justin Rojas. And uh, ah. it's awesome to see everybody. And thank you all for being amazing fans. For thank, all you, thank you. Chris. I'm going to go watch that other premiere. <laughs> so uh, we've, got a, we've got five minutes. We have literally five minutes. Uh, we're going to actually open up to fan Q&A here. Uh, right here we're going to have a line right in front of this aisle right here. So uh, we have barely any time. I apologize for the, the, the lack of time. Um, 